Hey guys, Adam here with uh, another Sim Hub. Not so much a tutorial today, uh, just more of a tip. I'm talking about statistics that are available to us in Sim Hub. Uh, I learned about this not that long ago myself, and I don't ever see this mentioned in like the official Sim Hub Discord or anybody else. So, but uh, I did learn this has actually been available to us for quite some time. So let me go ahead and show you what this is. Um, if you're a VRS user, I will tell you right now this probably isn't going to be very useful to you uh, but if you're not a VRS user uh, stick around and I'll show you how you can use sim hub as kind of a VRS replacement but not actually so let's just go ahead and jump right in all right cool so we can see sim hub is up here on the screen and I am right here in the main sim hub window and on the third one down statistics if you already knew about this and you didn't tell me, shame. All right, so here we go. So we've got recent sessions. Um, this is all of the recent sessions that we have from iRacing because that is currently the selected game that I have. If I were to change this to ACC and then go back to statistics, I would see all of the recent runs in ACC that I did. So you can see here, you've got your date and timestamp. This is going to be local for you, the car that you ran, and then the track that you ran at. Gives you your average lap time over here. I know that the text is really, really tiny in YouTube because I'm doing a display capture. I apologize. And it even tells you how many laps you did. So for this brief run right here, high level, average lap was 134.9, best lap 132.5, and I did seven laps. This was because I was trying to do a Daytona race and my system just went it crashed on me so let's go ahead and let's take this session as our example and let's double click real quick here and we can see now here's some cool data that we have about our seven laps um, we get our splits broken out sectors one two and three I'm sorry sectors not splits and then we get our lap time we get our speed that's available to us min max average and then what position we were in at the end of that lap and while this is kind of on the surface okay here we've got some really cool information and if you really want you can click this button right here and export it down to excel and trend your lap times out and sectors and and all kinds of fun stuff that you can do with that there but where this really becomes a helpful tool is up here in the upper right corner you see three buttons on the the top menu bar here for sim hub live replay and record so if you've got live checked that's done by default what happens is is all of the telemetry data from whatever sim you're using comes into sim hub and then goes right out to however you're displaying that data which is great 99 percent of the time that's what you want to do but let's say you want to go back and review that telemetry data now vrs is obviously an option um there you can do the vrs free account and be able to review your lap times and compare it against yourself or they do offer a couple of free options as well they do some free setups and free tutorials through vrs or you can use motec um i'm going to do a video on motec because i finally uh got into that myself here recently but let's say you don't want to do either of those so when you go into a session in sim hub just click the record button now when you have the record button what happens is sim hub creates a file for that session now it will send the data to two places it will send the data to that file and it will send it to however you want to display your dashboards so you get both now what you can do is once you finish that session come back into sim hub check the live button and then now you're back to there but We'll click replay now and you can see here i've got two sessions that are saved when we click the replay button i'm gonna hit cancel real quick we're gonna go back to dash studio and we're gonna go down to this i like this mobile dash right here with relative timing so we're gonna start this one window this is a dashboard that's available in sim hub by default so it says waiting for sim but if we go back to our replay menu 
and we kill click the sec <clears throat> excuse me click the second session because it's a little longer and we go ahead and click play you'll see another window that pops up down here and you can set your replay range you can create bookmarks you can speed up the replay you can slow it down but what you can get is you get now your track map data so for this one the red is us you could then even overlay your inputs um, on top of a dashboard that would allow you to go back in combination with let's kind of move this what so all fits onto one screen here in combination with what you see in the statistics menu with your lap data here and you can see in the lower corner of this dashboard i've got input so throttle brake clutch are right here rpms across the top and you can kind of do uh, a pseudo VRS. Now this isn't going to be as good as VRS because you can't overlay one lap on top of another like you can there, or you can also do with Motec. So you're stuck just looking at one lap at a time. But if I want to reference lap two, I can take this position here and I can slide this to the correct lap number. And we can see that on this dashboard, I do have a lap indicator right there. So I can watch the replay from lap two. I can look at my inputs. I can even change these inputs right here from just the default standard vertical bar to a graph trace, similar to like what Race Labs does. So I can look at that graph trace. I can look at the track map. I can look at the, all of the telemetry data that's available to us through sim hub and then i can say okay i want to compare lap two to lap six so let's jump ahead to lap six well I, sorry this is a different session i don't have six laps here um i want to compare lap two to lap three so i'll watch lap two see my inputs what did i do differently from lap two to lap three and while it's not a true comparison because you're not overlaying one lap on top of the next it's a really neat way to go ahead and review your laps, review your telemetry, at least what's available to us via Sim Hub, and then go ahead and make some adjustments to your setup if you want, or make some adjustments to your driving. So that's it. That's all I've got for today. This was just a quick little tip on how you could use Sim Hub uh, to maybe get faster instead of using VRS if you don't want to pay for that service or instead of using MoTeC if you don't want to dive down that rabbit hole. And as a data guy, I am absolutely loving MoTeC. So once I finally have a full grasp of it uh, i will have some motec videos coming because oh it's so cool what you can do in motec anyway that's all i've got uh stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video